some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in North Carolina with a Sovtard who is caught doing 71 miles an hour in a 55 zone. And he is up against a uh, North Carolina State Trooper who is not going to take any of his BS. And uh, therefore, the Sovereign citizen gets arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Trooper Bond on the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Yes, sir. You know I might be stopping you right now? Uh, no, sir. You know what the speed limit is on this roadway? Yes, sir. Which would be 55, correct? Yes, sir. You know how fast you're actually going? No, sir. You said one miles an hour. Now, is there any reason for your speed? In the world, is someone in the world. I'm sorry, say it again. Is there any reason for your speed this evening, sir? No, I wasn't aware I was speeding. I'm sorry. Do you have your license your registration on you, please? I do not. I'm sorry? I do not. In the state of North Carolina, uh, I do not need a driver's license to I drive. I'm traveling. I, hear I noticed how you immediately corrected yourself when you went from driving to traveling. Uh, yeah, but still, uh, you do need a driver's license in the state of North Carolina to uh, operate a motor vehicle, dude. It's the same way in every state of the union, you soft hard. I am traveling. I'm not driving. I'm traveling, sir. Okay. Um, in the state of North Carolina, it is state law if you're on a state maintained roadway that you're required by state law to possess a valid driver's license. And upon legal if request, I by was a sworn law enforcement officer, which what if, I am. If I was driving under commerce, I'm not operating okay. under. So, a, a, a company that I'm getting paid for. All right, you smooth brain soft heart. I don't exactly see anything about commerce off there, so you are sadly mistaken, my idiotic friend. So please take your brain back to Walmart and demand a refund because this one's defective. Cool. All right, so I'm going to have you listen to me for a second. Okay? Yes, sir. I've asked you for your license now. Yes, sir. Now I'm telling you to give me your license. Okay. This next step after that will be to forcibly remove you from your vehicle. Okay, I know what grounds. Because you are in violation of state law. Okay. You're a state law enforcement officer. I understand. Enforcing state law. I understand. So, this can go one of two ways. Okay. You can either provide me with your identification. I don't have it. I can give you my name, but I don't have my, be my sufficient. license. Do you have a valid driver's license in the state of North Carolina? I do. You do. Do you know that your driver's license number? I don't. Is there any reason why you're not carrying it with you? No, I was traveling from point A to point B. I understand that. But again, um, just there's a speed limit. Well, under Black Laws Dictionary, it clearly states I have to have a driver's license if I was working under commerce. Okay. You gibbering idiot. Black's Law Dictionary is just that. A dictionary. It is not the law. So pull your head out of your ass Take a look at the world, how it really works, and try it again. You feel I, I'm not. I'm traveling from point A to point B. I can understand. I'm sympathetic towards you with that. However, this would not be the place to argue that, okay? The place That's to fine. argue would be in a courtroom. Okay. okay. So, if you would, I need you to provide me with your full name, your date of birth. Uh, under my Fourth Amendment, right? I would prefer not to uh, give out any information. Okay. If I'm not lawfully arrested. That well, that's your choice, and the ball is in your court. But the Tenth Amendment grants the states the right to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. And guess what? North Carolina has a law for that, and you are currently violating it. So it carries a penalty of some jail time. Uh, are you sure you're willing to uh, risk yourself on that, my soft hard friend? That I've already asked you once. I'm now telling you, and I told you what. The I mean, did I commit? Were. Did I commit a criminal offense? Actually, yes. Did I hurt anybody? Did uh, I injure you, anybody? You've co committed a com uh, criminal offense. Yes, it's actually a misdemeanor. Stay on the speed that you're traveling at. That's 71 so in, a, in, in a 65. Actually, speed alone right now. I can arrest you. In a 65. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. This 55. Is, am I right? This is 55. You act as if you're shocked that anybody would dare create a speeding law. Oh my goodness. But you know what? Like I said, 10th Amendment. 
So right now you're putting me in jeopardy by standing on the shoulder right now on the roadway. I don't really. Okay, you can come on this comfort. side. I understand that. You can come on. I rode more in there. I come on. I want you to feel safe. Okay. The longer we stand out here, the longer I stand out here, the mm -hmm. greater risk. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing everything by the law. I understand that. And the I'm law states by the Black Law Dictionary. Nice, polite, I, and I appreciate that, possible. and I understand that. But I will. I'm going to make this enforcement action. Okay. If you don't allow me to do that. You will be placed. I'm not arrest, stopping you from doing anything. I will take you out of this vehicle. I'm not stopping you from doing anything. You got the plates. You can write the car ticket. I'm not stopping you from doing anything. I don't, I don't think I'm doing is quoting the law. Not once have I heard you quote any laws. All I've heard you quote is Black's Law Dictionary. And it's just a dictionary. It is not the law, you gibbering idiot. Okay. All right. So are you going to provide me with the information or not? I just need a yes or no. Before you answer that, I'm going to let you know. If you tell me no, that's fine. You are well within your rights to say no there. But, but there's repercussions will, though, there right? There's so then there's I have, but well, then I don't, sure don't have a right. Well then sure my rights are, well right. then my rights are, are, are taken away. I just want to make sure you're fully aware of the, the, your consequences, your actions. Okay, so as long as you're fully aware of that and you make your choice, that's fine. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. Just I make just want to do everything by the law. I just by the law, I want to do everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it because I don't want to. I don't want to 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 agree. To having a business with your organization, your co cooperation. I, I don't want business with you. You feel me? I'm, I'm freely, I'm traveling freely from point A to point B. You have the right to, you absolutely have the right. I, I'm not working to under, on. I'm not working under any, any, any employment right now. I understand. You have absolutely every single right to travel. Yes, sir. Without a driver's license. Okay, I, so what's the problem? I.e., you can walk. Now I'm not going to walk. This is my personal, my personal property right here. I Why would I have to walk this is a, this for is a ticket? Hold on. For a civil ticket. This is a state maintained highway. Okay. That I pay for. That I pay for. Yeah, pay full back tax dollars. Right. Maintained. Right. So why do I need to walk? Because I, I don't want to present my ID. State law. State law has a speed limit. Do you have a supervisor? Because do you have a supervisor? Safety of others. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? I want to speak to your. Yeah. Maybe he might know what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, I don't think the supervisor would come by and endorse your interpretation of Black's Law Dictionary. I think he'd be more than likely to haul you away in uh, a shiny new pair of bracelets if you continue this. Right I mean, you can write a ticket. I'm not stopping you from sense. doing your job, I'm sir. I'm yes, sir. Only highway patrolman right now. In hey, we got, all right, can you call the sheriff deputy? Supervisor? They aren't. I have no. I'm not with the, the sheriff's office. Well, you you need you going. need a supervisor when a taxpaying citizen asking for a supervisor, sir. I'm gonna take the, the continued even after I've told you what the consequences of your actions are. I'm gonna take that as you're lawfully or unlawfully refusing our. I'm not unlawfully doing anything. I'm doing everything by the book. I'm trying to do everything by the book. Moments later. All right. What about you under arrest? <laughs> for what? What am I under arrest for? Lawful order. What, which was what? You are under arrest at this point. That is not a lawful order. order. That's not a lawful order, sir. Okay. Me refusing my name, give you ID, is not a lawful order. Because I just, I just quoted Black Law Dictionary to you. I just quoted Black Law, did I not? Come here, you smooth brain, moronic soft hard. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. All right, you lead paint drinking uh, moron. Here's what it is. The secret is Black's Law Dictionary is a dictionary. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, now back away from me, please, because your uh, breath reeks of lead paint. Did I not? I do not need a license to travel from point A to point B if I'm not working. I understand that. Can you call your supervisor? Need to. You do need to. I asked for a supervisor, sir. You are under arrest at this point in time. For what? For your speed of 71 and 55 mile an hour. Right, can you can you, you show me proof of that? Yourself. Can you show me proof of that? Yes, I can. But you're it, under you got it on your radar that I was that was going 71 miles per hour. Yep. But you're under arrest at this point, so it's too late. 
Okay. I gave you the consequences of your actions. You you made your choice for you. You need to live with that. All right. And if you don't get out of this vehicle, I'm not I, I don't. I'm not gonna. Vehicle. I'm not gonna do anything towards you or anything. I'm going to comply to your order, sir. Well, dude, it's too late to turn back time. You can't go back and change it now. And you know what? You only have yourself to blame. And maybe Black Law's Dictionary as well, because you know what? You were overusing it in this scenario. You know, I just want to have a dialogue. That's all I want. I know, I understand. I just want to have a dialogue because what I'm doing, I, I feel that I'm, I'm certain my rights. I understand that, and I explained to you that this is not the place to argue. The courtroom would be the place to argue. But this is the place to argue because you're putting me over. You're the one pulling me over. And you won't give me a supervisor. All right. So just like before, I gave you consequences of your actions. Right? I'm trying to be as... Yes, sir. As and I'm telling you, you can write a ticket. I'm not stopping you so, from doing your job. I've already told you at this point in time, is we're beyond that. You're under arrest. And I'm asking you, why am I under arrest? You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Explain that to you. You, you cannot, cause, cause me not, say your idea is a secondary crime, sir. I tried to write you a citation, you weren't allowing me to do that. Write a citation. Write a citation. I give you my name right now, write a citation. Cause there's no, I got three dollars inside this car. You had your chance, now it's time to face the consequences for your actions, you dumbass. I, I got. I I'm not arrested right now. You are under arrest. Not lawfully. Not lawfully, sir. Can you just call your supervisor? That's all I'm asking. A supervisor, sir. You're about to catch additional charges on top of that. Right? How? I'm not. I'm not. What charges? What resisting? Resist means physical. Re resisting means physical. I don't have to be compliant, sir. I don't have to answer your questions. Well, according to North Carolina statute. Uh, 14-223, uh, you are quite wrong, so deal with it. As as I, get I don't you, have to ask you a question. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want, want, want you to get physical. physical. I don't want you to get physical. I didn't want it to get this point. I tried to work with you. I got three dollars in here that might attack you if you get physical. But I can't unarrest you at this point. So. Well, then, if you can't unarrest me, call for a supervisor. Please. Yes, sir, please. I'm just asking, please, Listen, I'm gonna call for a supervisor. Before, I'm going to give you your options. I'm going to let you make a choice for yourself because you're a grown man. Yes, sir. Okay? Option one yes, sir. would be for you to comply with me, step out of your vehicle, and go with me. So you who you want. Okay. Get your tickets down and get your Okay? Option two. Why, why is this got to be, why, why be straight to arrest, though? Why do it have to be straight to arrest? Dumbass, it didn't go straight to an arrest. He gave you plenty of opportunity to do so, but you failed in every attempt he gave you. So, this is still on you, dude, not on him. Hold on. Option two would be exactly the same thing, except for the fact that the force will move to the vehicle one way or another. Okay, but why do, why do I have to end to this? Okay, I understand that. I'm not going to give you that opportunity to satisfy that part for you, sir, because I know that's part of what you want. Because this is escalated so quick to arrest. Arrest, because I'm stating law to you. I don't have to comply. I don't have to comply. Because my Fifth Amendment right stands. I can remain silent. I just want to quote the law to you. So here's the I'm about to step out. I'm about to step out. I'm about to step out because I don't want you to be forceful to me, and I'm not doing nothing to you. Like you do, I want you to step around the front of your vehicle, not between the two. No, I want to step back here in the back where your camera can see. But if you step between the two vehicles and somebody runs in the back of my car, yes, sir. I don't want to walk between my vehicles. But I want that camera to see everything that you're doing. Because when I step out, I don't want you to be all aggressive. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back there. But yes, what sir. I'm saying is when you come out, we're going around. Okay. And then go back that way? Yes. Okay, all right. Can I cut my car off? Before, yes, you may. Before you step out, you step out No, I don't. I don't. Okay. No, sir. All right. Got the keys out. I'm putting the keys on the... Uh... Matter of fact, can I just take the keys with me? Sorry? Can I just take the keys with me? You can take the keys. You have, a, you have any kind of pocket knives or anything? I, I don't. I don't know. No, no. You can carry your keys with you. Alright, you can carry your keys and you can bring your phone with you. Alright. I'm getting reaching for my other phone. Nothing else. Hold on, wait. Uh, 
Let's head on now. Like I said, just come around the front of the truck. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. We're just going to walk back to my patrol vehicle, okay? Yes, sir. I'm not fine. Do you have anything on you? I don't. I don't. You might like to check the pockets with you. I'm not going to search you. I just want to make sure you're I mean, I'm deal. already arrested, so I mean, you're going to have to yeah. check me regardless. I can I put my cigarettes inside a car? There's nothing in there. That's fine. You can put your cigarettes in there. I'm just coming and up, I got a lighter, too. So you can do it there if you want to. Yes, sir. Yeah. If you want to, you can set your phone on the hood of my car. My camera's right here. You okay. can see it. It's, it's looking right at us. Okay. Why does um every time um, yes sir? Why do every time citizens assert their rights, they go to jail? Well, that's because you are a complete moron who doesn't even know what his rights are to begin with. Well, again, I'm trying to explain this. Okay, well, we could have we were doing nicely by just talking. I was just wanting to talk. Like this is my first time trying to assert. Oh. I'm, my wife, this is something I just learned. So I, I wanted to try to practice my... And that's why I tried to explain to you. I tried to explain to you the consequences of your actions so you understand what they were. And you can make a, 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 that's why I asked for your supervisor, because I wanted to see what he would say. He would tell you, I, I guarantee you tell me. I wanted to hear from him, though, because phone he phone. might know more than you. You feel me? Because that's why he's a supervisor. He, he's superior. Is that them over here? Yes, sir. Just step forward. I'm going to open this door. So yes, step sir. right here. Right. Back. You're going to sit in the front. I'm going to put your phone up here on the dash. All right, thank you. Well, now, stupid is as stupid does, and this guy, well, he is incredibly stupid. I mean, he thought he knew what his rights were. I mean, Black's Law Dictionary? I mean, come on now. Do better. Well, now, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.